All right, so we're going to build a simple blog in Webflow. So we're not gonna get into everything Webflow can do here, but we're just gonna do um, something simple to show you uh, the power of Webflow. Um, and so you can kind of get started and build um, your own website using Webflow, even if it's something small and it's something to build on. So um, let's go ahead. First, you have to create a Webflow account and um, uh, everything we're doing can be done with a free Webflow account. And then once you're there, hit new project. And um, we can use uh, a template um, or like, so we can use one of Webflow's kind of starter templates, um, or we can start with a completely uh, blank slate. Um, so why don't we start with just a completely blank slate to make it um, a little bit easier for now. So let's hit select. Um, and let's call it a uh, blog, uh, whatever you want to call it. And great. So, um, so the way Webflow works is it's a visual editor of CSS. That's kind of how I would uh, describe it, of CSS and HTML. So if you already know CSS and HTML, even on a basic level, then uh, Webflow is going to be really easy for you and it, it kind of um, gives you, uh, supercharges your ability uh, to build a website um, if you already know CSS and HTML. Um, if you don't know CSS and HTML, that's okay. Um, this tutorial is going to be on a pretty basic level, so you still should be able to uh, follow along and learn how to build a blog and, um, and you'll start to pick things up pretty, pretty quickly. Um, so let's go ahead and first, um, let's just hit this plus add element. So we're gonna add an element and it's gonna be a section. So you can just tap that and it's gonna put that section under the body. So the body is the full, um, you know, the full um, web page, And then the, uh, the section is kind of under the body. And uh, next we're going to add um, a heading. So just tap that and it's gonna put a heading automatically into the section. Okay, great. Um, and let's just keep it at H1. And here, let's double click on the heading and it's just gonna say um, uh, my blog. And uh, let's just go to heading. Uh, um, you can, let's add another uh, element and let's do another heading and let's have this as H3. And this is going to uh, say, um, uh, this blog is a summary of um, my daily thoughts. Okay. And let's do one more thing. Let's take this section and then under padding here, uh, what you can do is you can hold the shift button and it's gonna highlight uh, the whole square you can see. So if you un uh, let go, it's only on that one um, set left, left padding. If you hold shift, it's on all of padding. And if you drag in, uh, it's gonna give us padding and this is picked pixels. So this is putting us at 100 pixels of padding. You can see here, uh, the green area is the padding around the text. And padding is on the inside of the element. Uh, margin is on the outside. So if we add margin, it's going to add space here. Padding is going to add space in here. So let's take this, let's um, uh, add a section. Oh, sorry, first you need to be highlighted over the body because you can't add a section in a section. The section has to be added to the body. Um, and let's do this as well. So here um, you can see this section has a class, which is called section. Let's uh, rename this to blog section, just to show you or uh, let's rename it to padding section just to show you what uh, what the, this is able to do. So then we have this section over here. It has no class. A class is 
uh, something that assigns um, style uh, to to what's inside that class. So um, let's uh, keep that uh, blank for now. And uh, just to show you, let's add a heading. And this time, let's grab it and drag it into that section. And here, uh, you can drag things around in the navigator as well. So we did that, and you can see we actually kind of drew, dragged it outside of the section. Of the section. So if you grab that header and you kind of hold it over, it'll go down, and now you can see it's in the section. And you can see that here, and you can see that here um, on the page. So now if we click on section, so remember this is called padding section. Let's go over here. and. Is, there's an existing class already, but you can start typing it out and it, you can see it's showing up. So let's click on the existing class and now this has the same padding as above here. And then let's click in this heading and let's call it uh, blog posts. Okay, great. Uh, so we've got the header, we've got the subheader, and now we have this blog post. So now let's uh, add some actual blog posts. And Webflow is a CMS, has a CMS built in, which is a content management system. And what that means is uh, you can host uh, images, you can host um, uh, text blog posts like we're gonna do. You can, any type of content you wanna host on, on a site, um, you can host on Webflow. So uh, there's a lot of really complicated things you can do, but we're just gonna start um, with something simple. So let's go here and click on CMS. And then here we wanna create our first collection by pressing this button here. And uh, here uh, you can either create your own from scratch, but to start, let's do a template because they already have a blog template and it's gonna make it really fast to get something up and running. So click on blog posts, and you can see it automatically created these fields over here, which is what you're gonna be uh, using to write your blog. So you have the name, uh, slug is just the URL, what it's gonna use for the URL, uh, the, the body of the um, blog, the summary of the blog, the main image, um, the thumbnail image, whether it's featured, and then there's a color, uh, so if you wanted to have different categories, have different colors show up on the website, you could do that as well. So now that we have all of our um, fields built in, you could add more, but just because it already automatically created these in the template, we're just going to keep it as, as it is. And let's hit create collection. So now over here, you can see there's a blog post collection, but it says you have zero blog posts in your collection. So you can either go here to the blue and sit blue button and say create new blog post and enter in all this information which you can do if you want to um, have your own blog post but but i would recommend starting by uh, hitting cancel and let's just generate dummy items because dummy items uh webflow already can just create some um, blog posts for you so you can see what it looks like on the site you can always delete these later so we're going to hit add five items and great, so you can see here, it just added five uh, dummy blog posts. Um, we have, for example, five web design blogs you should be reading. They have some uh, uh, text uh, in here, a summary. They added an image and a thumbnail image and a color, so, and it's not featured. But they added all this information about all of, um, about these five blog posts. So let's just hit save. And let's go back to our navigator. So go back to our website. All right, so now we're going to actually um, pull in those blocks. So over here, let's uh, press this plus button to pull in an element. Let me put my face over here. And um, we want to pull in this collection list. This is pulling from the CMS. So we're going to take that, let's drag that under blog posts. And now under source, we're going to choose blog posts. And here you can see it's already kind of, it's already pulling in these five blog posts with the title. And um, that's great. Um, let's just, um, let's put the layout at this four column layout. So it's going to stack them like this. Yeah, uh, maybe three, three columns, and then it's going to stack them. And let's hit an X here. 
And now let's add in a heading. So if you grab this heading, this is where it gets very cool. And you um, hover under blog posts. Now you can see um, this option to get text from blog posts. So we want to click that and we want to click the field. And let's just pull this up a little bit. And we want to select the field name. And here, this is what's very cool. Now you can see it's pulling in the name of the actual blog. And let's change this to an H4 so it's a little smaller. And let's exit out of here. And uh, so you can see this heading is under this collection item. So each of these is a collection item in the collection list. Um, so let's add uh, an image. And let's add that um, under the uh, collection item. And same thing as before, let's say get image from blog posts and it's gonna be the thumbnail image. Okay, great. Um, and now what we wanna do is uh, allow uh, users to actually click on this blog post to take them to the actual blog post. So we want to add a link block. It needs to not be a div block, um, a link a link block. And um, so let's pull this over and we want this to be right under the collection item above the header, the image and the heading for. And then we want to take this image and drag it so it's inside of the link block. And we want the heading to be dragged so it's also inside of the link block, but let's put it under the image. And here you can see the style changed because the link has uh, styling uh, to change the color of the text. And we'll change that in a minute to make it look a little bit better. Uh, so now let's go back to the collection item here. Click on this collection item. And we wanna add some padding here. So let's, uh, um, if, if, you hit, if you type in here, on the left, let's change that to 30. And then let's change the right padding to 30. So here you can see now there's a little bit more space in between each um, uh, item. Actually, let's change that padding, the padding to zero, but the margin to 30 on each side. Okay. Oh. So let's go back. Let's do padding to 30. And one thing that's cool about uh, Webflow is you can just uh, either use Command Z or Control Z to go back, um, or you can go back and forth with these arrows. So everything saves. So uh, now we want to click on this link block, click this settings, and we want the uh, collection, click on collection page because Basically what we're doing is we are saying we want this link to link to the current blog post. Okay, great. And um, now when we publish it, when we click in, it's gonna go to a page that is unique to that current blog post, which we'll build out next. And now let's, um, let's actually, while we're here, let's style uh, this text a little bit. Because what happened is this link, um, is turning this blue and we don't necessarily want that. So let's go um, to our layout and our typography. And we want to remove decoration here. So that was turning it under lines. And this is under the link block. We want this link block class selector to have no decoration. And then also if you go here to typography, you click on color and drag this to black. Uh, even though it wasn't arm blue, for some reason it was listing it at blue. So if we go and just drag it to whatever color you want, I'm gonna do kind of a, a dark gray. Um, that's gonna pull up there. Perfect. So let's now add a date. So let's add a... Um, a text block, and we'll just put that right underneath the title. Um, and let's hit the gear and get text from created on. And there you go. 
and now that date is going to show up under the uh, text. OK, great. So now let us um, uh, let's just go over here and hit publish. And you can just publish it to the Webflow domain that they're going to give you.